Hi all, AC Dodd here again and welcome to another episode of On The Road Tuning with me AC Dodd and today we're going down towards Portsmouth for a four car home tuning event. Okay, so next car, this is Chris and his family. <laughs> um, so why have you brought the car down today Chris? I bought it off a guy who said uh, that you've tuned it before. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure things were still correct. Okay, and excellent. Uh, um, any pro driving problems when you're driving it? It feels a little bit flat. Okay. Uh, whereabouts? Uh, normally uh, third gear, about 50. Okay, all right. So, uh, yeah, sort of flatten off. Excellent. Let's dig in and see uh, if what I've done uh, in the past is still there or if it needs a tweak again. Thank you very much. Right, so this is a Mini 30. Lovely looking car. Let's see what's under the bonnet. Apparently, I've done this one before. Okay, so under the bonnet, uh, usual engine that we have in a Mini 30. So, we've got a 9 and 8 high compression A. Plus all idling okay but well, let's start the process and go through it just because i tuned it before doesn't mean to say we do anything less so let's get stuck in okay so we'll get into this mini 30 uh first thing we found is the uh, you'll notice i've stripped off most of the ignition system uh although we've got uh, a ballast feed and a 1.5 ohm coil which is which is excellent uh, unfortunately the distributor uh, had a very poor advance curve so i'm not quite sure uh what went on there but it certainly wasn't what I'd call optimum. So um, we're going to fit a new AC Dodd recurved unit and this has got a high power module. So that also means we need to bypass the ballast resistor and we need to change the coil for a 0.8 ohm one. So let's get that done. So in terms of this one, uh, in the end, I ended up changing everything. So we, we, we replaced the ignition system. So we got a 0.8 ohm coil, new AC Dodd power spark distributor with a uh, AC Dodd recurve, uh, new power spark leads, some B, uh, fresh set of BP5 ES spark plugs, gap to 35 power. Uh, moving our attention to the carburetor, this is where our flat spot was. So our oil was too thin. So for some reason, uh, although it's been told to me this has been tuned by me before, I don't think so, because this is 1.2 on acceleration. So the needle was one of mine, but somebody's played with it since and, and they fitted, fitted thinner oil in the carb. So I changed it to, to 2050. Uh, didn't need to do any mods because I've already done the needle and she runs absolutely fine. So let's let the owner go in it and see what they think. Okay, so Chris has been out in his car now, the little uh, 30. What do you think, Chris? Absolutely spot on. Wonderful. Like and cheese. It pulls away, it revs, does everything it needs to do. Excellent. So uh, you're... Um, no flat spots? No flat spots, completely gone. More power? Loads more power. Revs right up now. Excellent. So yeah, well happy. Excellent. Would you recommend this service to anyone else? 100%. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, so next car is this very nice Clubman Estate. So, this is Matt. Matt owns the car. So why have you brought it down today, Matt? Uh, it's not running very well, can't get it to run very well, it's um, popping and banging out the exhaust. Yep. Um, when you put your foot down, it's a little bit fluffy, it's not very, don't pull away very well. Okay, uh, uh, is it lacking power when you drive generally? Yeah, it seems to, it don't rev as far as I expect a 998 to rev. Okay, so. well let, let's dig in then, see what we can do. Okay. Okay, so under the bonnet of this one, we've got, uh, looks like an A plus 998 uh, with a stage one kit. So. Uh, First things first, well, as usual, we'll start with the coil um, and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got this little uh, 908 running, uh, points ignition, uh, points are all fine, uh, timing was too far advanced, so that's what the popping was in the exhaust, which I uh, took about 10 degrees off it, and uh, she's a lot better. Uh, put a new set of plugs in, it had BP6s in, so we've gone down to a set of BP5s, got to 25 thou. Original coil's all good. Moving over to the carburetor, we find that we had um, an ABD needle, which is a typical stage one kit needle from uh, you know the early noughties, etc. Uh, anyway, in this case, it was too lean, so we had to modify uh, between three and four thousand. Also, it was too lean on progression, and um, the piston damper needed to be changed as well because that was too lean, uh, even with the thickest oil that I have, which was 2050. Uh, that wasn't slowing the retardation down enough. So um, yeah, I had to change that. Anyway, we got there in the end uh, and she runs really well. So let the owner go out in it, I think. Okay, so 
Matt's been out and he's uh, clubman after the tune. So uh, what's it like now, Matt? Yeah, loads better. Drives better, picks up and goes. Uh, a lot more responsive. Excellent. Um, a lot more drivable. So smoother. Yep. Yeah, yep. more power. Yep. And uh, just nicer to drive, really, and live with. Lots better, yeah. Excellent. Yep. All right. Would you recommend this to anyone else? I would, yeah. Wonderful. All right. Well, thanks for bringing your car down today. I Thank really appreciate much. that. Thank you. Okay. So this checkmate belongs to Ed. So, Ed, why have you brought it down? Uh, so I've just had a new car put on it and when I want to pull away somewhere and I put my foot down it starts to stumble for a bit and then go away and then towards the end above 4000 it just doesn't have any power behind it. Okay. So I think um, it just needs a little bit just more. Just out of interest, was that fitted by a professional garage? Uh, yes it was. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Mm. Alright, um, so uh, no power at all, no power when you drive? Is it flat? Uh, so or? it's fine between, as long as once I've once it's gotten past its little stumble at the start, yep. between any range up to about four, it's got power and then after four it starts to die off and then, okay. and then right. it's changed gear. Alright, well let's dig in and see what we can find. Okay, let's check mate. I know people like to look inside. This one's a used one, which is a nice example. Let's have a look under the bonnet. Okay, so under the bonnet here, uh, oh, engine's been painted, but uh, it's the usual A plus uh, 998. It's got a brand new HS4 in it, as uh, the owner just said. And then other than that, it all looks fairly standard. Um, obviously later car with a servo, um, but it's got uh, points ignition, ballast cabling. So, uh, Let's dig in, see what we can find, and see what the uh, hesitation problem is. Sometimes when tuning, it's necessary to get into the nitty gritty of what's going on. In this case, no matter what I do, um, I can't get the oil or the piston uh, slow enough on the rise. It's much too lean when you accelerate the engine. So uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, try and change the collar for a different one. Uh, failing that, on this particular carb, I think what we're going to have to do is make a custom made one to get the... Uh, um, enrichment that I'm, I need. Okay, so uh, what have we got going on on the bonnet now? Uh, got this one all dialed in. Uh, effectively, uh, the coil and uh, the ignition system itself are all fine, uh, apart from the timing setting. So I had to uh, knock the timing back. The vacuum advance was working. I changed the spark plugs to a set of BP5s. So the leads are all good. Um, and then we moved our attention to the carb. Now, this carb was brand new, which is excellent. Um, the only uh, issue was it was running an ABD needle which was just a little bit lean so I've adjusted the needle for part throttle running and progression um, and then what we've now got uh, is it, it was far too lean at uh, when you snap the throttle open so even from new uh, the damper in this carb wasn't right so uh, what we've done is I've, I've made up a hybrid one using an uh, LZX2085 and fitted it into here and uh, that, that improved the fuel in no end. So this is now ready for a test drive and we'll let the owner uh, go out of it and see what he thinks. So, the checkmate. Ed, you've been out on it, Ed, what's it like? A lot better. <laughs> it's now got the same power throughout the whole rev range when I put my foot down, instead okay. of a burble, little bit of power, and then flat. So now it just goes? It goes as it is. Yeah, is it nice when you just cruise as well? Yep. Yes, yep. perfect, still the same. Love it. Wonderful. So, uh, yeah, basically night and day is what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Over. Excellent. Okay. Well, um, yeah, very interesting thought on yours. Um, uh, not enough um, piston damper, which uh, we had to kind of uh, adjust that by um, cobbling together uh, an LZX2085 uh, to run with your new carb. So just because they're new, don't mean to say they actually work right. So exactly. that's another reason why you need your carbs tuning, even if they're brand new. Um, would you recommend this to anyone else? 100%. Wonderful. Thanks for bringing your car down today, Ed. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Okay, so last car of the day. We've got a nice designer. Nice interior. Always like the designers. Although I always felt they could do with a rev counter. But this one, this one is quite nice because it's all standard. And we've got a nice standard A+. plus 998 under the bonnet. So what I've got to do with this one is they've already asked to change the ignition system to um, a high power point setup. So that's what we're going to do. So we're not even going to start measuring stuff here. I'm just going to remove it, change it, and then we'll dial the rest of it in. Right, so where do we get to with the designer? Well, in the end, we changed the whole ignition system. So we've got a 0.8 ohm coil. We've got a power spark, um, high, high energy uh, distributor complete with an AC Dodd recurve. Um, 
We're obviously running vacuum because this is a road engine. Uh, brand new power spark leads. We've got some BP5 ES spark plugs, GAT to 35 thou. Uh, all timed in uh, at 4,000 RPM at 30 degrees of dance. Uh, we've got, moving over to the carburetor, had some issues here. So we was running at a standard needle, which was obviously way, way too lean. So I was able to uh, change that for a, uh, an AAE needle and then that needed some extensive modifications uh, to get that to run nicely. Uh, and we was also uh, too thin on the dashboard oil, which was leaning out when you open the throttle. So we've now come up to 2050 on this one and she's running real, real good. So I'll just give it a rev for you. So we let the owner go out for a test drive and hopefully they'll be happy. Okay, so that last designer there, um, the owners didn't want to go on camera, but that's absolutely fine with me. Uh, I can assure you that car ran very well and uh, uh, the owner um, was very happy with the uh, improved performance and hopefully they'll leave a comment below this video. Um, just moving on, I'll, just before I go, I'd just like to say, well, if you uh, want to get a good deal, the way to do it is what these, these guys did here, uh, and they hosted a multiple car event at one, one venue. Uh, that way you minimise the cost per car. Uh, so those guys all enjoyed uh, basically what was uh, just under half price um for for their uh, uh their, their tuning so uh that's something to bear in mind if you want to um you know you want to keep the price down uh or you think you're going to need a lot of parts so you keep the price down on my labor but obviously you can benefit by uh, being able to have more money to spend on parts so um with that in mind uh i shall bid you farewell to the next episode as ever please like subscribe and share and i'll see you soon thank you very much